Hi, Michelle here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the model context protocol, MCP servers, and how to use LLM models to automate web data extraction. You're going to learn how to get an LLM to fetch any web data for you using a simple prompt. Let's start with the basics. So what is MCP by Anthropic? To put it simply, it's a new standardized way for LLMs to communicate with external services and applications. The goal here is to make integrating these apps with your LLMs easier and more efficient. The LLM fully understands your request and gives you an output that maximizes its capabilities. What this means in the Appify ecosystem is that it costs the time to learn new tools like Appify actors or scrapers considerably. This makes it easier to integrate actors or even when you don't have a technical background. To show you how easy it is, we'll connect the Cloud Desktop client with our library of over 4,000 Appify actors. Having the AI choose the scraper, fill out its input, and then get the relevant data. Before we get to the tutorial, let's take a look at how it works under the hood. There are two parts of MCP, a client and a server. The protocol sits between the two and allows them to communicate. We'll be using Cloud AI to give prompts, so that's the MCP client. For the server, we'll be using Appify's MCP Actor. This tool gives the client access to Appify's library of scrapers, AI agents, and automation tools. Our end goal is to ask the LLM to get us a list of 20 pizza joints in Prague. The client will send this request through MCP and choose the relevant tools automatically. Let's get right to it. So what do you need to set it up? First of all, you'll need to have Node.js installed on your machine. If you're not a developer and are afraid to tinker with your terminal, you can easily download the installation file from the official website. You can find all the download links in the video's description. Once that's set up, download Cloud for desktop. Make sure to also create an account. Now let's set up the MCP server. Head over to Cloud's help in the top toolbar and enable developer mode. Now go to Cloud, Settings, where you'll see a developer option appear. Hit Edit Config and you're in you'll be taken to the MCP configuration file. Open it in an editor of your choice. We'll go with the pre-built text edit. Now, we'll need Appify's configuration to get it working. Make sure to create an Appify account. Then, head over to Appify store and search for the actor's MCP server. In the README, go to MCP server at a local host section, where you'll find the configuration for Cloud Desktop. Copy the code and paste it over the existing contents of the configuration file. Last but not least, you're going to need to give the server access to your Appify account via your API token. To obtain it, go to Settings, API, and Integrations, where you'll find the token. Simply copy it and paste it into the token field in the configuration. Now just save the file, restart Cloud, and we're ready to go. As a test, let's tell our AI to scrape Appify pricing. Before you hit Enter, Make sure to enable the MCP integration and actors in the Search Tools menu. If you navigate to the platform, you'll see that the server has kicked off a run for the RAG web browser. Also, notice how Cloud is waiting for Appify's response. If you're on Cloud's free plan, it's possible you get an error message as the timeout is quite short, making it suitable for simpler and faster actors. If you, however, plan to extract data at scale, we recommend upgrading to Anthropics Pro plan. As you saw in our previous example, Claude has automatically decided to use Rock Web Browser. This was no coincidence. This actor is actually the only actor you can run via MCP with the default settings. You can still ask Claude about what actors works best for your use case, and it's able to give you good recommendations in this regard. If you, however, want to run an actor, you'll have to add it to the config file. You might be asking if it doesn't make sense to add all Appify actors into the config. Currently, working with Appify managed actors is more reliable given the verified structure of readme's, input, and output schemas. Adding too many actors could also cause hallucinations and higher costs for your tokens. We're, however, working on minimizing the risks and making all Appify actors MCP compatible. So, go back to the MCP actors readme, and this time copy the configuration from the second code box. Head over to Claude's MCP config file and paste it. Once again, you'll need to add your Appify token as well. The Actors field is where you'll be adding actors for your personalized configuration. You'll need to gather their technical names. So, go back to Appify store, find the actors you'd like to add, and copy their technical name. It's okay to write under the actor name. If you're going to be using multiple actors, make sure to separate them with a comma. 
Now, just save the file, restart Claude, and you're ready to go. You can then find all available actors within Claude's MCP Tools button. Now, let's test our use case we mentioned earlier. Ask Claude to scrape 20 pizza places in Prague along with their contact details. I want to see it in a nice table output with columns, name of the restaurant, website, and phone number. As you can see, Google Maps email extractor was started on the platform. Once the run is finished, you'll have your data reorganized by the AI based on our request. By the way, the use of this MCP server is not just limited to asking the chatbots to start actors for you. Cloud can also access your files on your machine once you give it access. For instance, using this prompt, you can use a list of leads you saved on your desktop. Have Google search Scraper Finder Instagram and extract data on other platforms using Social Media Finder. The final data set is then saved to your desktop. As you can see, this tool allows you to beef up data sets, connect actors without issue, and create complex workflows without needing to set anything up in Appify Console. Many other platforms such as Make.com are beginning to implement their own MCP clients, opening the door to new ways you can automate your data pipelines. We'll definitely be covering more use cases on this actor in our video tutorials, so stay tuned. Also, let us know in the comments what industry you'd like us to cover or how you're using the actor to automate your web workflows. And that's all for today. Let us know what you think about the actor's MCP server. Remember, if you come across any issues, make sure to report them to our team in Appify Console. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay updated on new tutorials. So long, and thanks for all the likes.